Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have a death challenge. The topic is about death. And this is why the music was... Death have many meaning, and you will see today that all those who would their dick picture, all those who challenge them in Indonesia, all those who claim to be cleric, all those who claim to be Muhammadan, all of them they will disappear as if death took them, took them away. They have big mouths. Look at them. Look at them. Look at these pictures. Look at this guy. He's holding the microphone. Look how big his mouth. Look how big their salary. Look how much money they make. Look how big their houses. But look how small their answers, and they have no answers at all, actually. Today is a Ramadan challenge for all those who claim to be Abdul Ustaz in Indonesia. Only if you are from Malaysia, I don't mind if you join. If you are from Saudi Arabia, oh, I will be happy if you join us. <laughs> if you are from Pakistan, that even will be lovely. Your name is Abbas, and you are delivering pizza. And this is the last scholar we have today from Pakistan. He was correcting Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet. Today we have a very serious question and none of those people can answer. And I wish, I hope all of you will translate to whatever language you can. Muhammad and they believe that Muhammad was killed. But how he was killed? The Shia, they believe that the Sunni killed Muhammad. The Sunni believe that the Jews killed Muhammad. However, it doesn't matter really for me who killed him. That will bring the question. But before we go there, let us see an introduction by Sheikh Yasser al-Habib, who is going to quote long reference about who killed Muhammad. However, for me, I don't really, I'm not going to play the whole video for you. You can watch it, and the title is called Who Killed Prophet Muhammad, and it's a series of videos. Actually, I have a link for it, for it in the info to give him a credit for the video. Yasser al-Habib, he is speaking about what the Sunni believe, and what the Shia believe about the death of Muhammad. And the challenge will come right after we hear Sheikh Yasser al-Habib. In hadiths, even those reported by the Bakri sect, it is confirmed that the Prophet, peace be upon him and his pure family, was martyred. For example, Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Al-Tabarani, and As-San'ani, among other famous scholars of the Bakri sect, reported Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, a companion to Allah's Prophet, saying, لَأَنْ أَحْلِفَ تِسْعًا أَنَّ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ قُتِلَ قَتْلًا أَحَبُّ إِلَيَّ مِنْ أَنْ أَحْلِفَ وَاحِدَةً أَنَّهُ لَمْ يُقْتَلْ وذلك بأن الله جعله نبيا واتخذه شهيدا. I am willing to take an oath nine times that the Prophet was mad was murdered, but I am not willing to take an oath even once that he was not. This is because Allah made him a prophet and a martyr as well. How then was the Prophet murdered? And who were the perpetrators of such a heinous crime? It is from this point that the, pro that the paths of the Shiites and the Bakri sect diverge. While Bakri sect claim that the Prophet was poisoned by the Jews, Shiites stress that he was poisoned by his two wives, Aisha and Hafsa, as commanded by their fathers, Abu Bakr and all right, so now we heard that the Sunni and the Shia, both of them, they agree that Muhammad was killed. 
the Bakri sect, which means the Sunni, they believe that the one who killed Aisha is a Jewish woman. The Shia sect, they believe that the one who killed uh, Muhammad is Aisha and Hafsa. Uh, now for sure, it doesn't matter really for us who killed him. At the end of the day, both of them, they agree that Muhammad was killed by poison. Who killed him? That will not change really too much for me. And this is the challenge will be for the Muslims. As long Muhammad was killed by poison, and both of you Shia and Sunni agree as we heard, how come your God Allah did not allow Jesus to be killed, but he allowed Muhammad to be killed? The stars of the Sunni, they are from the Sunni sect, which means Bakri sect. So they believe in this, that Muhammad was killed by poison. And who, was, who killed him is a Jewish woman. The same sect believe that Allah, he took Isa up to heaven in chapter 3, verse number 55. If you ask him why, they will say because Allah will not allow Isa to be killed by the Jews. So the challenge is, why Allah, he allow Muhammad to be killed by the Jews, by poison, and he will not let Isa to be killed by the Jews. Very simple challenge. None of you is able to answer it. Because simply Islam is nothing but a fraud. Look at this. Those Muhammadan, they believe that Muhammad is the best of mankind. Muhammad is the highest prophet. Muhammad is the most beloved by Allah. Muhammad is the most important person in the world. And even Allah, he created as a chair for the sake of Muhammad. The heaven, the earth for the sake of Muhammad. Everything was created for the sake of Muhammad. So why Allah did not save Muhammad the same as he did with Jesus? Any Muslim can tell us? The answer is very simple. Muhammad is a liar. Especially if we knew that in the Quran, Muhammad, he said that if he fabricated Quran, Allah will seize him from his right hand and he will cut his artery. Who said that? The Quran. Reported by who? By Muhammad. What Allah will do to Muhammad if he fabricate Quran? Allah will cut his artery. Chapter 69 verse number 46 it says here and if the messenger were to invent any saying in our name we should certainly size him by his right hand and we should certainly then cut off his artery of his heart if we go to the hadith we will find that this is exactly what happened to muhammad he said and i read the Prophet, this is Aisha speaking, the wife of Muhammad, saying, the Prophet said, the Prophet said, not her, in his element of which he died, which this means Muhammad is dying now, he used to say, not once, not twice, used to say that to me many times, O oh, Aisha, I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. Khaybar is the tribe of the Jews where Muhammad, he killed all of them. And at this time, I feel as if my orta being caught off from the poison so Muhammad here is admitting and we heard the Muslim Sheikh saying clearly that Shia and Sunni both of us we agree that Muhammad was killed the Muslim Sunni which is the Indonesian and Saudi and most of people in Qatar like Egypt etc the majority of Muslims they are Sunni they agree that Muhammad was killed by a rat poison and Muhammad died slowly by the rat poison. Shia believe that the one who killed Muhammad is Aisha and Hafsa. That will not change too much. Even though when Muhammad he asked the women, the Jewish women, why you did that? She said, well, I want to see if you are a prophet, Allah will save you. If you are a false prophet, we will get rid of you. And as you see, this is what happened exactly. But all of this will lead us to one very simple question. 
if Muhammad was a prophet and he is higher than Isa why Allah did not save him the same he saved Isa as Muslims claim if you ask any Muslim about this verse chapter 3 verse number 55 they will say that Isa did not die Allah he raised him to himself and by the way the translation is false because the translation says I'm going to cause your death mutawafika. the Muslim they say mutawafika mean he will make him go sleep <laughs> if you go right now in the internet and you type the word tawaffa you will see that tawaffa mean die as simple as that but anyway we will go with the scam and the fraud of the Muslim Sunni or the Shia it doesn't matter both of them they are a fraud of one coin it's called the fraud of Muhammad as long you are the one who insist that Isa did not die in the cross Allah took him up to heaven then why Allah did not take Muhammad to heaven the same he did to Isa and why he did not save him from the hand of the Jews because as you see Muhammad was killed by the Jews and he was dying slowly in a very harmful death imagine this guy he's, he used to say he used to say oh Aisha I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar and at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut off and there is no way you will say to me Muhammad was wrong I challenge all the Ustad of Indonesia to say Muhammad was wrong or maybe you can say your prophet was an idiot when he said that say it I want to hear your answer as the one who claimed to be Ustad none of you is an Ustad and none of you knows what he's talking about and none of you have an answer and we will wait for the answer for the coming 20 years and none of you will give us anything because simply you are there only to speak about breastfeeding for adult is it halal to eat ice cream made by a christian is it okay to drink pepsi cola all the silly questions in the world you are ready to answer it the second we give you a question which is very serious you disappear Assalamu alaikum brother. I am a Muslim and I live in England. And in England, the people drink Bibdi Cola. Is it halal to drink Bibdi Cola? Then you will see all the Ustaz are ready to answer and they will fight over answering. But when we ask them such a serious question, nobody is there. A brother, is it okay, brother, to use the steering of the car? If it was in the left when Allah he forbid us from using the left what 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 a brother is it true that I have a wife and she can can she cannot sit on the chair because the word chair in Arabic is a male word as ISIS, they made a fatwa that any woman she sit in a chair, she should be punished because a chair is a male word, which means she is sitting over a male who is not her husband, which is the chair. So when it's come to something silly, stupid, all of them, they are ready. All of them, they are very excited to answer. The second we give a real question, they are not there. I'm not going to keep this video long so those who they are from Indonesia they can translate and they can share but as you see Muhammad proven to be a false prophet because this woman when she killed him Muhammad he predicted that if he is a liar Allah will cut his artery as you see I feel as if my orta is being cut off and this is exactly what the Quran said the Quran said that if Muhammad he fabricated Quran if Muhammad is not a prophet, if Muhammad making false Quran, Allah will cut off his artery. So how we can match this with that? I mean, we say that Muhammad is a false prophet, but the prophecy come to be true. And, but this is a prophecy Muslim they don't want to mention because it's proving that Muhammad is a fraud. Someone might say to me, okay, how Muhammad he predict that he would die in such a way? My friend, he never thought he would die in such a way. I believe, I believe that the Lord, he wanted to expose this man. So he made him die as he promised if he is a liar. 
So if I am fabricating Quran, Muhammad saying in the Quran, Allah will cut off my artery and then Muhammad die exactly. As he claim, Allah will punish him if he is a fraud. So we will be waiting for those Abdul. Ustaz potato, Ustaz tomato, all the Ustaz in the Muslim cheese kebab business. Because those people, they are not Ustaz. They are doing business. They make a lot of money from the, from the back of those poor Muslims. Which one of them you think he will be brave to make a video and refute a Christian prince? The only one until now is trying to refute me is the one who called Insan. But this guy is an idiot. He don't know what he's talking about. Already, he agreed that Jesus died. <laughs> he agreed that Jesus was crucified. Already agreed, you know, actually in the video he made today, agreed that Jesus says he's God. <laughs> and by the way, we will continue exposing this guy, but maybe in Monday. So this is the challenge. I'm not going to continue along. I hope Indonesian people will translate. I was planning, by the way, to go live on air after this video, but I said, let me give people some break from listening to me. So we will go live on air uh, in the in the coming, uh, uh, I mean, broadcast for the account Quality of Life. Let me post the link for you. Uh, this is the link, but I decide to make it tomorrow morning in my time. So if you like to join us, subscribe to that channel and there we will discuss many issues, many topic and many comment people they posted about the previous video. So if you like to join us tomorrow morning, this is the link. Please tell your friends and the account will be quality of life as you know, not in the Arabian private. Remember that I have other account where I use for topic have nothing to do with the garbage of Muhammad. So join us there and the link is posted for you. I will be happy to have you tomorrow with me in the morning so we can bring some coffee if you are in the morning time and maybe some tea if you are in Indonesia or in Asia or uh, I mean India or Philippines whatever you are so thank you very much for being here all of you may the Lord bless you again the challenge is open and this is Ramadan challenge number one let us see who is from the Indonesian Ustaz from the Malaysian Ustaz Zakir Naik Ustaz Potato, potato, tomato, Ustaz, he have the answer. Muhammad died by rat poison. And your scholars agree in that. Shia and Sunni agree that Muhammad was killed. Shia and Sunni agree that Muhammad was not saved by Allah. Shia and Sunni agree that Allah, he saved Jesus, but he did not save Muhammad. Shia and Sunni agree by doing that, that Muhammad is a fraud. For the death of Muhammad, proving that he is a false prophet. And Jesus is alive, even in your fraud book. And right now, you Muslims are looking up to the sky when you pray to Allah. Do you know you are looking up to who in the same time? To Jesus. This is what your stupid prophet, he taught you. When you look up to the sky, you are praying to who? You say to Allah, no, my friend, according to your Quran, Jesus is there. According to your stupid Quran, Jesus is there. This is what happened when you follow a fool like Muhammad. Again, this is the link for our other account where we are going to go live tomorrow morning. If you like to join us, may the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And thank you for your support and being with us all the time we go live on air. See you, and God bless. Take care.